Many species were impacted by the arrival of European settlers. The plains buffalo was eradicated, the gray wolf was decimated, and the whooping crane was exterminated. They were down to 16 known individuals in the entire world. It's thought that as uh, white European settlers settled North America, they changed the habitat, drain, drained wetland areas, changed natural areas over to uh, fields for agriculture uh, because the birds can o usually only lay two eggs and uh, rear one chick a year. They couldn't uh, recover from, from things like that. They were disturbed by people. They kept being pushed away from human settlement. Once found widespread across the Great Plains, the Whooping Crane's breeding grounds were shrunk down to what is now called Wood Buffalo National Park. So what almost wiped out the Whooping Crane, um, a lot of west, uh, wetland drainage um, is likely to have caused their decline, but also, unbelievably, they were hunted um, and shot. So hunters back in those days just used to shoot everything. It's, it's probably a combination of habitat loss and, and, and hunting pressure that, that would have um, um, endangered them. The crane has been protected for decades, but it's still considered a threatened species, and it remains on the long road to recovery. Whooping cranes are not a very adaptable or flexible species, and so they're very, they're very tied to their wetland habitat. If they don't have good quality wetland, wetlands to feed in, to live in, to nest in, um, they just don't do very well. Because of the crane's slow rate of reproduction, breeding programs were established and the use of innovative tools were developed. What I've got in my hand and what it is used for is this is what we call an archive egg. It's um, basically a data logger, the same size of a hooping crane egg. We can put this with the birds, they accept it as a real egg, um, and we can learn about how the hooping cranes are incubating their eggs. The main purpose of this tool is um, um, captive managers who are trying to breed endangered species to release back into the wild can try to optimise um, egg production by taking the first clutch and, and making them lay more eggs. But you need to ensure the eggs you take and hatch, otherwise it's not worthwhile. But success at their breeding grounds at Wood Buffalo is not enough. Each year the birds have to migrate up to 4,000 kilometres south to Texas. It's critical for there to be rest over wetlands along the way. I, I've found that we've actually had an amazing and cooperative collaboration with, um, with the um, US government and the National Crown Foundation, which is a non-profit group. Um, I think, like us, they're an enthusiastic and passionate group and, and want to jump through hurdles and bureaucracy in order to do the best for the cranes. A major contributor to the ongoing efforts of protecting the whooping crane is the Calgary Zoo. The Devonian Wildlife Conservation Centre is an off-site facility of the zoo that has breeding programs for endangered species like the whooping crane. Um, I say that it's, and I think it's really important that the Calgary Zoo plays a big role because this is an Albertan story. The only remaining population survived. It's a breeding grounds. It migrates to Aransas, Texas for it to overwinter, but its breeding grounds are in Alberta and Wood Buffalo National Park. Um, the Calgary Zoo is the only institution in Canada that captively breeds hoop grades for reintroduction into the wild. Since about, I believe, um, 1990, the um, Calgary Zoo has been providing um, breeding um, chicks and fledglings, um, you know, young birds that are taken down to the US programs um, and, and released there as part of their programs. So over you know, almost 15 to 20 years, the, the, the zoo has been providing um, birds to supplement the wild populations and to bolster the wild populations. We have a very um, passionate group that work on this in the off-site facility. So yes, yeah, it's a big effort from the Calgary Zoo. The Devonia Wildlife Conservation Centre was established in 1984, just southeast of Calgary. Right now we have a total of about six or seven breeding pairs right now and, uh, uh, that, are, that, that are laying eggs and uh, we have a total of about 20, 20 whooping cranes here right now. Uh, we uh, do, do some artificial insemination with the birds to get more, uh, uh, more fertile eggs from the flock than we would otherwise. While the crane has come a long way, its future is not guaranteed. I think it's good if we keep um, making the progress and making and improving on it and um, assuming that, you know, 
um, their habitat can stay intact. Um, I think they, um, they're not there yet, but they are a conservation success story. They've come from the brink to quite a considerable way back to being secured. Um, they're not secure yet, but um, as long as um, North Americans are committed to preserving the habitat, then sure, their future can be secured.